Heading to the boutique is Karen, who has a full 12 months till her wedding. It's going to be different, me trying the dresses on, isn't it, compared to me putting dresses on other people. I'd like to wear a massive ball gown. Not too big. She's brought along daughter Louise, who says she knows her mother better than anyone. My mum's passion is wedding dresses, and she, she knows what her stuff is, basically. But I'm also nervous in case she doesn't find the right dress. Hello. How Hello. are you, Karen? Hello. I'm Karen. That's Louise, my eldest daughter. So how are you ladies feeling today? Really excited. Karen looks a little bit out of her comfort zone right now. She's quite quiet and her eyes are all over the place. First fresh shopping experience been before what? I had my own boutique for the plus size. Oh, really? Um, up until a couple of years back. It's kind of like really weird seeing... Being at this side, not your side. It did hit me, it did upset me, cos it was like... I gave it all up. And I gave it all up because of reasons beyond my control. So what's happened in between? Um, I had a stroke about two and a half years ago. Um, couldn't really manage the, the recovery, the home life, my daughters, all on my own and everything. Didn't really have any backup to help me. So, I had to give. so unfortunately, I had to kiss goodbye to my dream and let the boutique go. Oh, my God. So, it's quite bizarre. She's going to be on the other side of the fence today. It might put more pressure on us than we uh, are expecting. So, so colour you say you like, um, lace you like. Yes. Bit of bling you like. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this one? I don't know, there's just something that isn't quite right. I don't know. I am really picky as well, which doesn't help. This is a, a little bit fabulous. Doesn't have lots of embellishment with a pocket. I'm pulling out dresses. You know, the face is not giving anything away. Not a thing. What do you feel about ruffles? I've never tried anything with what? ruffles on, so I don't know. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah. You're laughing. Is that a laugh cos I like it or...? Yeah. You like uh, it? Yeah. Oh, hello. I think what we need to do is kind of let you try a few different styles mm. because we do get locked in our mind that I have to have this style because I'm this shape and it will suit me. No, oh, you know what? We're going to have a bit of fun, methinks. Yeah. We're going to hang this up. We have never had a challenge like this before. We've never had a bride come in that used to own their own boutique. Right, come with me, Karen. The first dress. It's also going to give us a really good idea of Karen's shape because she has a skirt on and a top and a jacket and a scarf. At the moment, we've no idea what Karen's shape is. OK, and step up. That's it. Right. OK. Open your eyes. It was like... The face is not saying a lot. Come on, Karen, give me something. No. No? No. It's not the one. No. <laughs> I just wasn't keen on that one at all. Didn't give me any vibes. Karen is really hard to read. I do a lot of picking up from um, facial expressions, body language. She seems quite guarded right now. Open your eyes. Nah. <laughs> Didn't do anything for you. Uh, I feel about 50. There's nothing wrong with being 50, I'm 50. Do you mind? No, it's just... But it does age you. Yeah. 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 I hated that dress on me. No, when I saw it on, I felt like a pensioner <laughs> in a dress. How you doing, Karen? All good. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Fabulous! How does this feel right now? It feels now? really nice. I don't know what it looks like, but it feels really nice. Does it? Yeah. yeah. This is exciting. Because ruffles has never sort of come into your mind, really, has no, it? No, never. No, no. Even when I had a dress somewhere in the shop, it never did. It was. So with the stroke, how hard did that hit you? <clears throat> did you lose <clears throat> the ability to, to do lots of things? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't realise at first. I thought I was okay, but then 
Um, I lost the ability to walk, so I had to learn to walk again. Um, I couldn't even get out of bed. Wow. I, I couldn't even sit out of bed without assistance. Um, the rooms would, the, the, it would just be like on a fair, like fairground ride where it's spinning you so fast and you can't stop it. How are you it feeling is. about it? A lot of it's surreal. Right. Very surreal. Why is it a bit surreal for you? Because it's just me being on this side, not on the other side, and then a reminder of what I gave up, and it was heartbreaking. That was my dream every day, and then it was just gone. <laughs> OK. I mean, I had no warning signs of the stroke or anything, so it was just like, I was fine one day, the next day I woke up and I was being rushed to the hospital. I sense a kind of sadness in her today because she's coming into something that she once had, and for me, this is my passion. I do feel that she's very brave. Right, OK. I wanted to get her shop back. Like I said, she was happy all the time. She's there, it's just trying to get that old Karen back. Both of you now can open your eyes. God, do you look different? <laughs> <laughs> in, a good, in, a good, in a good way. Wow. It, it's just, it's unreal, I think. It shocked me. Love it. You sound surprised. I am, really surprised. Why? Because I never in a million years thought I would carry this kind of dress off. You've got a waist, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Louise, look at me. Are you crying? <laughs> you are crying. Uh, God. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, what's made you cry? What's bringing all that emotion? I don't know. You just set me off. I never cry. Louise really starts crying in this dress, but I think it's more than just seeing her mum standing there in a wedding dress. I had the stroke. I always sat down and said I never found anybody else. No. Oh, Do you need to share a bit of love? No. <laughs> I just love the way the dress makes me feel. When I've had so much snatched away from me body-wise, it's nice that a dress can just sort of like make me feel that way just by putting it on. That looks lovely there, doesn't it? So what does that mean then? This is the dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen her that happy since since she had her own bridal boutique. But today it's been proven that she is still in there.